this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage who could Tyreek be calling for help in the Power Book 2 Ghost trailer? I think it's five people that Tyreek could be calling and maybe six, but um, some make more sense than other, but I'll break them down in this video. We're going to talk about Tommy. We're going to talk about 2-Bit. We're going to talk about Obi. We're going to talk about his mom. We're going to talk about Lauren. We're going to talk about Tate and possibly could be Stern. Lauren. Now, it's a possibility that Tyreek could be calling Lauren for help. And what could he be calling Lauren to say? Um, Lauren has resources. Her parents have money. So Tyreek could need money at this point, and he could be calling Lauren to get help with money. That's a strong possibility. Now, um, could this be plausible? Yes. Um, what's the percentage that I think he calling Lauren? I would say the percentage of him calling Lauren is probably like 5%, 10%. I highly doubt it, but it could be there, so I wanted to explore it. Now, we look at Stern. Stern is a businessman. Stern has mutual interest in Tyreek becoming the best and Tyreek's survival. Why? Because um, Stern has the possibility to get the things that Tyreek has and in his inheritance that Stern wants. Now, I keep telling y'all, yes, Tasha signed over those things to Stern, but Tyreek was actually too young to sign them over himself. And also, Daniel Warren wouldn't give Tasha Tyreek stuff to sign over. So I think that was a slide of a hand just for them to get money. Maybe Tasha promised it to him after they get out of college, but um, Tyreek don't have to honor that agreement. But he could still call Stern. He could call Stern for some money, um, or he can call Stern, Stern for Stern to look into some things for him. Tate, Tate with all his political friends, all his political aspirations. Um, you know, Tate is a favor for a favor type guy. So the, as resourceful as Tyreek has been through this whole ordeal, I feel like he could call Tate and Tate could basically just be like, hey, I got you, whatever you need. But just remember, I need a favor back. That's the type of man that Tate is. I can see that happening. The percentage on him calling Tate, though, um, I'm going to say slim to none, slim to none. And the percentage on him calling Stern, since I forgot to say it, I would probably say like 15%, man, because Stern don't really care what he do to get ahead. Um, Tate, I think that Tate don't care what he do to get ahead. But I feel like Tyreek calling Tate would be a um, setback to whatever he trying to do because, you know, Tate is, is slimy. Tate is real, real slimy. Now, this scene right here, we do see Brayden and Tyreek in another situation. I mean, in another scene where they standing right here in this very point talking. Tyreek got on the same clothes. He got on the same hat, the same jacket. So it's a small possibility that he could be calling Brayden and telling Brayden to meet him there. Now, the reason why I don't think this is plausible, because if he knew that he was going to be here and he wanted Brayden to meet him here, I would see him calling Brayden before he even got out to that point. So what I think happened is he had his meeting with Brayden. Him and Brayden say everything they need to say. Brayden either leave or Brayden stay, but Tyreek make that call because he gonna need help. Brayden could even be the one to tell him, hey, have you thought about calling such and such? Tyreek is a mama's boy, so it is a strong, 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 strong possibility that he called Tasha. Now, what type of advice could Tasha give him? I don't know. Tasha could um, jog his memory about something. Right now, Tasha's life is in shambles. She's in witness protection. She's working a regular nine to five. And, um, you know, she did all of that. She did to go for nothing, basically. Tyreek, definitely we going to see Tyreek go talk to her. But in my personal opinion, if Tyreek was going to pull up on her and talk to her, I don't think that he would make that call from right here. I think he would have been thought of that. Or I think that um that I think the scene of Tyreek going to see his mom happens before he go to work. I mean, before he go to war, I think he going to go to her first and try to get whatever type of advice he going to get because he's a mama's boy. 
Now, we know that Porsche is back around. So we know 2-Bit come back around at some point. And a lot of people think that 2-Bit is the one uh, Tyreek is going to kill. I keep telling y'all Tyreek will not kill 2-Bit. It makes no sense, especially when right now he don't have an army. He don't have a team. So I could possibly see him. This could probably be like this 80% for me chance that he's calling 2-Bit. Two 2-Bit two is out of town. He asking 2-Bit, hey, can you put a team together and come back in town? Can you get a crew together? Can you get some guys together? We need help with this, and we need help with this now. Um, 80% chance, man. I could see this happening. And when y'all hear me say my percentages, I'm not basing my percentages off of uh, the other theories. I'm just giving my percentages based off of that one person at a time. So I, I did a video about 2-Bit. I'll put it in the end screen. Um, it was my latest video before this one y'all can go check that out and see everything that i said about two bit now obi what will obi roll be in this now have to remember that obi family was brought to the stage by tyreek tyreek did him a huge favor tyreek got an ally and obi forever now at some point obi could possibly turn on noma obi could leave noma we don't know when or where or how but i think it's a strong strong possibility of that happening obi wants to be from under noma obi wants to be the man in charge obi has more of a team than noma especially now since his family is in the states and Tyreek has did more for Obi than Noma has did for him in his entire career. Now, what does that mean? It's a situation where Obi could be working for Noma, but he could not be working for her just because he want to work for her. She could be paying him, of course, but he could be working for her only because he was her family was back in London and she controls everything in London and she could have been threatening his family and holding it over his head hey if you don't follow my instructions you know you got a family back home and i can make it real uncomfortable for them or i can make it comfortable for them when they land on their back in that six foot box so um this can be in my opinion this is probably like 60 70 percent for me in my mind of the chance that obi could possibly be the guy um, now, we got to go to the guy that everybody want to see, everybody thinking about Tommy. Now, could Tommy possibly cross over from the Force? Of course he could. I think that Force is having some rating issues. We've seen that already, even though Force is going to continue to go. Now, the reason why Force is continuing to go, even though it's having rating issues, is because Gary Lennon is on there. They gave Gary Lennon uh, the green light to do some more spinoffs. So with them putting Gr Gary Lennon in position, obviously they going to keep his show up now. When y'all look at this, right, um, I told y'all, when this power universe is built, it's built for everybody. So, Ghost was built for the people who used to be in the streets and go to the clubs and hang out. And now they in their 30s, they with their family, they in their 40s, they with their family, but they still want to feel that vibe. They get that vibe from watching OG Power. Power Book 2 is for the people who are between their 20s, 25, 29. They still out in the streets. They still active. They may be in the school. They may be selling a little bit of weed on the side. That's for that demographic, that young demographic. Power is uh, Power Book Force. That is for the white demographic. That is for the people who are infatuated with that mafia, that mob lifestyle. That's for the people who grew up in that mob and Italian mob and uh, lifestyle. But now, you know, they running their regular businesses or they raising their grandkids, they raising their kids, they out of the life. So I hate to say it, but race does play a part in force continuing to be on the air. The white executives understand power book force better than they understand anything. They've had a cousin who was like Tommy or a cousin who was like Benny or a cousin who was like Pro so this or a cousin who was like vincent or victor this right here is um the white people's version of power and if y'all haven't paid attention i always break this down that every part of power is for some demographic they're covering the entire demographic even when you look at raising canaan raising canaan is for the people who grew up in the 70s 80s and 90s the people who was out there when they had four finger rings and gold ropes had first came out and people was driving 
V12s and for the paid in full era and the fat cat era and all of that, right? So this demographic is for everything. I believe that if they cross Tommy over, it would help the ratings a lot. I don't think Tommy gonna come back and do a whole lot. I think that Tommy could just come back and save the day at the end. Even though I believe this would be good for Tommy ratings and I believe that this would actually be a great thing to happen because see what can happen is if you get Tommy to come over to Tyreek Universe Power Book 2 come back to New York and help him well now when we end this show if Tyreek have to go on the run like Tommy did well Tyreek can go over to Chicago and help Tommy and become a part of his organization and so what that would do that will keep Tyreek and Braden working that'll keep their face in the scene until 2026 when it actually comes back so tommy definitely need a team his team been getting plucked off um his team been split up it's been tommy and diamond the entire way but i think that once they go up against miguel they're gonna need more help than they actually happen so that way i could see Braden and tyreek crossing over the force but we'll have to wait and see hey the numbers are doing good right now i know i'm back to posting more videos but i'm back to posting more videos because there's more content coming out um if y'all are a fan of the shot i did do a video on the shot y'all should check that out um salute oh if you got Facebook, man, go on Facebook. We've passed the 500 group member mark. Power Book Multiverse and Cinema is the group. Power Book Multiverse and Cinema is the group. Power Book Multiverse and Cinema is the Facebook group. Go join. Salute to all the cinema cronies. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now. Written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fairplay2333.